Finally tonight, there was an, a moment of high emotion, great joy today in the nation's capital for a woman who has spent much of her lifetime standing up for human rights and paying an enormous price for doing it. Aung San Suu Kyi got her freedom back just a few years ago. She is a Nobel Peace Prize recipient, but today she called this day one of the most moving of her life. Our report from NBC's Kelly O'Donnell. One extraordinary woman from a land more than 8,000 miles from Washington. This is one of the most moving days of my life. Aung San Suu Kyi has finally made this improbable journey, a visit to the Oval Office, a celebration in her honor, the highest award bestowed by Congress, the gold medal. A long-awaited and emotional moment. I want to thank you, my friend, the lady, <coughs> for teaching me at my age a thing or two about courage. The lady in her native Burma, a country also known as Myanmar. Internationally respected as a peaceful fighter for human rights and democracy against a brutal military rule. Former First Lady Laura Bush. One of the most repressive governments on earth attempted to isolate and silence one woman. So she was cut off from the world, kept under house arrest for more than 15 of the last 24 years. Fear, she has said, is a habit. Why? She answered. If I was afraid of being killed, I would never speak out against the government. Awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1991, finally released in 2010, and elected to Parliament this year. In spite of the imperfections, democracy, democracy still remains a beacon of hope for all of us. For many years, American friends made her cause their own. It is well for us to remember People fight and die for the right to exercise politics. A 67-year-old grandmother, a global hero for peace and freedom. Kelly O'Donnell, NBC News, The Capitol.